Today I'm going to be talking about a really special place. Listen to this and I'll shed some light on it. Yeah. Welcome back, so a uh, quick interlude. So I'm going to shed some light on where I've been this week. So I always go out and look around the area, keep my eye out for anything new. Uh, nothing new this week, but it's a really great place to go. It's really illuminating. So without further ado, I will show you where I was. Can anyone guess? No? Here we go. So I was out in... Oh, that's a bit weird, my picture. But hey, can you guess where I was now? So I went out to Wimpoint uh, this week. Took a look around. And it was such a nice day. And uh, yeah, so I walked around Wimpoint looking around. Did you know? You know, it was bought, built in 1880. And it's 108 feet tall. And it's still working to this day. The Coast Guard maintained the lighthouse uh, fixtures to keep it working. But it's actually the upkeep and the running of the buildings is done by Wimpoint community. There's also a police station there. So, uh, yeah, so I had a little time to spend down there. So let me show you what, what I got up to when I was down there. So one of the great things about living in Racine is obviously being close to the water. So if I turn the camera around, you'll get to see that, which is Lake Michigan. As far as the eye can see, Lake Michigan. Beautiful. In the background, you'll see Windpoint Lighthouse, one of the big landmarks around here. Um, still works today so it was built in 1880 and uh, yeah so it stands 108 feet tall and lights up the area so shipping doesn't hit all the rocks so there's other structures around as well um, like the big old air horns there that they used to use the fog horns they don't work anymore but the light still does the lighthouse is actually run by the village of um, Wind Point, so they uh, they run it. However, the Coast Guard still maintains it. So the Coast Guard, Coast Guard is responsible for maintaining the light, making sure it's working, etc. So uh, I'll put a little bit more up about it in a bit. So, uh, what did you think of that? So, it was a great time down there. I had a really great experience walking around in the sunshine, getting out. It was really nice. Met some other people down there as well, was talking to them and walking around. There was a lot of people down there walking their dogs because uh, there's dog walks there. Or you can walk down to the beach. Uh, so, it was really good. But did you know, there's a few trivia facts about Wind Point. Wind Point is literally only 1.27 square miles. Yeah, it's not very big at all. So a really nice small area is Wind Point, And it's uh, only 1,651 uh, people live there, or that's what the census says from 2020. And... Uh, it was incorporated in 1954. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, you've got a good school there, Prairie School. It's a private school. You've got wing spread over there, which, talking of wing spread, um, I'll show you a little bit about wing spread. I didn't actually go in there, but, um, you know, you've got wing spread. You've got the Institute for Insect Science over there for S.C. Johnson as well. And uh, the other claim to fame is shoot. Park Golf Course. It's a nine-hole golf course right on the lake. <laughs> How about that? So, yeah, you can play looking out over Lake Michigan. That's fun in the summer, I must say. 
So here's a little bit about wing spread. So this was built for one of the Johnsons um, many years ago as his family home after Frank Lloyd Wright had built one of their buildings for S.E. Johnson, he was so impressed with it that he asked him to build his own home. Um, and now it is used as a conference center for, you know, many different groups have used it. Um, but yeah, so it's a great escape. You've got a swimming pool there. You've got these four wings to the house. Uh, coming off it's it's even better inside you can if you go on the website you can have a look around and see what it's like inside there's been some really influential people have been there and so Jesse Jackson being one of them so uh, yeah it's a great facility so let me get back to me there we go so, um, yeah, so average prices throughout January for Windpoint is um, 642000 is the average price, list price for houses. The actual average sold price is a lot lower than that, it's 438. So 438000 is the average sell price over there. That was for January this year. So, yeah, it's a really great area. It's a really nice area. There's plenty of communities there. Um, there's condos, there's houses, there's bungalows, there's ranches. There's all different types of properties. Some have more land than others. And so it's a great community over there. It's a really good community. So why not go over there, take a look and drive around. And hey, if you bump into any... Anyone? Say Russ sent ya. <laughs> that would go a long way, I'm sure. So, hey, why not enjoy yourself and take a ride out one day? Go down to the lake, go down to the lighthouse, have a look for yourself. You can actually go in there on certain days. You can go up in the lighthouse and look out, so that's fantastic. Or you can take a walk along the beach. Why not? You can see the brick road as well, the uh, brick pathway round the garden with all sponsors names and in memory of names um, that are there there's plenty of benches to sit down and enjoy yourself and enjoy the moment it's really good take a break go down there it's well worth it bye for now <laughs>